Rule number three, don't stare at invisible fairies. Rule number two, don't speak to invisible fairies. Rule number one, don't ever attract their attention. Aslan has always seen fairies, powerful and dangerous. They walk hidden in the mortal world. When the rules that have kept Aslan safe from them stop working, everything is suddenly on the line. Her freedom, her best friend Seth, her life, everything. Fairy intrigue, mortal love, and the clash of ancient rules and modern expectations swirl together in Melissa Marr's stunning 21st century tale. Hi guys, this is Jessica with Chapter Chicks, and I have a book review for you today over Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Now, it's been a really, really long time since I've read this book, <clears throat> so I do, I am <clears throat> getting the most of this just by memory and what's on the blog and stuff like that, so I, this isn't like a fresh review, and I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize that I never reviewed it. As you guys know, I told you that I'm a lot of videos behind somehow. But anyways, let's get to the point. Wicked Lovely was released May 31st of year 2007 by Harper Teen. And it is the first book in the Wicked Lovely series. And there are 328 pages in the U.S. paperback edition. <clears throat> so basically, what Wicked Lovely was for me it was just it was it was a really good book it as you guys know Gina from YA Fiction Freaks is obsessed with this book and she's obsessed with Melissa Mars whole fairy world and we had kind of had a little debate about which one was going to be better because I read the Iron Face series first and she read this series first and she liked this series first or better but I like the Iron Face series better so far but I have only read Wicked Lovely but it's going to be pretty hard to beat the Iron Face series. But anyways, um, this book, it was really good. It was not what I expected it to be at all, which is good, but then it's also bad. Because since it had such high expectations for it, I think it was kind of ruined a little bit. And, But I still think that you're totally crazy if you don't go pick this book up. Because just because it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, didn't mean that it wasn't good. And I love the way that Melissa Marr writes. She writes amazing, crazy good. Just the plot was a little slow for me and that is why it got what it got. It did get um, an A for me, which a 93 out of 100, which is pretty good. It is a 4.5 star equivalent, so it's definitely one of the higher books on my scale, but it just wasn't the fi a 5 for me, or an A plus for me. And yeah, but the cover, look at this cover. You cannot tell me that is the Wicked Lovely series do not have the prettiest covers because you'd be lying. But yeah, um, it was, I'm really excited to read the next books, but this one, like, it was kind of boring. It was still really good, like I said, a thousand times, but it just, I like books that are like, vroom, 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 whoa, what just happened? And this one wasn't like that. It was kind of like, this is what's happening. You are the yeah, are you okay? This is what's happening. Oh, okay, and then this happens. And I don't that's so those aren't my kind of books. They're good sometimes, but they're not good all of the time. So Yeah, um I don't like I said I read this a really long time ago. So I don't <clears throat> know much detail about it anymore. I kind of forgot a lot of stuff. I do know that I did like it and it only took me a couple days to read. And I do know that it did get a little boring, and I really like the characters. I do know that, too. Aslan was really cute, but, you know. And I was, I really liked Keenan and the other guy whose name I forget. But I'm going to stop rambling about this. Just make sure you go check this out, at least, and see if this book is going to be something that's for you. The second book is Ink Exchange, and it's a companion, but definitely check it out and see if it's for you, because I do think that it is one of those books that can be universally liked. But that is my terrible review over Wicked Lovely, and this chapter was for you. Thank you guys for watching.